This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, we have a new device for small pupils and it is the B Octa. I'm going to share my first experience with it. We have been using the much loved BX device for the last many years and BX was a pioneering innovation which made pupil expansion device accessible and affordable to Indian surgeons. The simplicity of the design, its thin profile and ease of use remains unmatched. But in few case scenarios, we wish that BX could dilate the pupil a bit more. And we would tell this to Dr. Sovain and he listened. And lo and behold, now we have the newer sibling of the BX, the B Octa. The name says it all. We have an octagonal pupillary opening as the pupil is supported or stretched at eight points. Basically, we have just two extra notches to engage compared to the B-hex. And it is so fascinating to realize that this small change yields such a big result. Now, this is a 70-year-old man who has the mature cataract with moderately dilating pupil. The capsule is stained with Tripan blue and the chamber is filled with OVD in time to insert the B Octa device. The technique of inserting the B Octa remains the same. It comes in a neat tray. We hold one of the notches and it is introduced into the eye using the B hex forceps. The trailing part of the ring is gently maneuvered into the anterior chamber. Now, as it sits on the iris surface, let's examine the design. The feel, the profile and the consistency are just as same as the B-hex as the material is the same. Only thing it is slightly bigger in its diameter. Now it has got four flanges and four pairs of notches unlike the three pairs which we have in B-hex. For the sake of simplicity I could refer like this. We have got four sets of W's and four sets of this long plate flanges. Typically the flanges come above the iris. And the center part of this W goes behind the iris as the notches are being engaged onto the pupil. The center of this W has a small hole. This would be the place to hold the device with the forceps as it is being maneuvered. Now this is my first case but the strategy is going to remain the same. I prefer the side port to do all the maneuvers and I am going to use the BX forceps. I begin by holding the central hold within this W. The forceps pushes this part under the iris resulting in engaging the two side notches against the pupillary border. Time to engage a second pair of notches. Let us see this in slow motion. The forceps first engages the central hole within the W and the central part is pushed under the iris. As this is being done, the two side notches are being engaged. With the forceps being in the same port, it is navigated to repeat the same maneuvers to engage the third pair of notches. So the maneuver or handling is just is similar to that of your BX. So with a single entry, three pairs of notches could be engaged very quickly. Time to switch hands for the last pair of the notches. Again, the central hole of the W is held and is maneuvered gently below the iris to engage the last pair of notches. The B octa insertion is complete and it is simple. So now we have a very well dilated pupil. The rexus is done, nucleus is emulsified, IOL is placed in the bag. Time to explant the device. The device is being removed under OVD. The forceps again goes through the side ports, holds on to the device, disengages all the notches. The forceps is now pulled out and it goes to the main incision. It holds one of the flanges. And then the device is pulled out. The removal process is as easy as that of the BX. OVD behind the lens and in front of it is removed. The toric lens is oriented to the desired axis. Time to close. These are the first day post-op pictures. So the bottom line, B Octa is a game changer. Same ease of handling and a thin profile associated with the original BX but we have an added advantage of a better pupillary dilatation. This definitely makes it a worthy successor to the original BHEX. Thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful.